Halloween special. Let's get started with the tutorial. For filming purposes, I already made my liquid latex prosthetic. If you would like more information on this prosthetic, please check out my blog post. It will be linked in the down bar below the video. To make this particular prosthetic, all I did was make two sheets of latex by layering liquid latex on top of each other. I made one smaller and one bigger. I first cut across into the larger piece and then used Bendai Spirit Gum to apply the smaller piece under the big piece directly under the cross. The reason I stuck the piece under it was so that my own eye isn't exposed when I stuck the prosthetic on and I wanted it to look like my eye had been removed. Then I put some safety pins through the top layer of latex. It is best to do this now rather than later so that you don't poke yourself in the eye with a safety pin by accident. I then used this Mayron Bruise and Scar Cream Colour Wheel and using this red colour here I applied it to the fake wound. Make sure you also lift the sections and apply it to both sides of the latex. Just a quick tip, grease paint apply better than aqua paint on latex so I would recommend using a cream based product. To give the prosthetics some character I added some extra red smudges. Before applying the prosthetic make sure all your hair is away from your face. When applying your prosthetic you want to mark out the section the prosthetic will be placed on your face. You can use either a lip liner or eyeliner to mark out the rough outline of the perimeter of the prosthetic. I'm using Ben Nye Spirit Gum to adhere the prosthetic onto my face. Spirit Gum is basically a super glue that is safe for your skin. You want to apply Spirit Gum to the back of the prosthetic as well as the skin that you are sticking it to. When applying the Spirit Gum to my face, I'm avoiding my eyebrows and the area that is close to my eye. You want to pat the Spirit Gum with your fingertips so it becomes tacky. When the area becomes tacky enough, apply the prosthetic and remember to follow your markings when applying the prosthetic onto your face. Then apply pressure to the area and voila, it's on. To blend the edges of the prosthetic where it can tend to look a bit rough, I'm going to apply some of this Ben Nye Nose and Scar Wax. This product can tend to stick to your fingers so I'd recommend applying a moisturiser before working with the product. Apply this product to the perimeter of the prosthetic so it blends in with your skin a little better. If you like, you can apply a thin layer of liquid latex over the nose and scar wax. This will give the same finish as the prosthetic and help everything to blend in with your own skin. You have to let the latex completely dry before applying any makeup over it. While it is drying, take the opportunity to start on the other side of your face. I'm applying this Ben Nye Full Coverage Foundation for an airbrush flawless skin effect. Then you want to set your foundation and the liquid latex with a translucent setting powder. This will mattify the area. Now I am applying this full coverage concealer from my Ben Nye Tattoo Cover Wheel to help blend in the latex with the colour of my own skin. I prefer to use a small concealer brush because it allows me to get under all the pins. Make sure to apply a setting powder over the top of the concealer when you are done. Now I want my exposed eye to look really open and big, it will help add to the effect of the other side of my face. For an open eye appearance, I'm applying this Cryolan White Eye Base to highlight the inner corner, brow bone and waterline. Now I'm focusing this hazelnut brown colour on the outer third of my lid. Set the white base, I'm using this Ben Nye Highlighting Shade. I want to gradually build the intensity of the shadows. I'm taking this warm brown colour and applying that slightly above where my eye lid creases and also lightly contouring my nose. To make my eyes appear more almond shaped, I'm going to flare out the shadows slightly towards the outer half. Now I'm using this warmer brown shadow on the outer third. What is left over my brush I'm lightly contouring my nose with. I want my eyes to stand out but not overpower the rest of my face. So 
I'm applying this dark brown eyeshadow and purely focusing that on the area where my shadow flares out. Blend the shadow for a neutral gradient effect. We don't want any harsh obvious lines. Next I'm applying this Ben Nye Shimmery Shadow, but I'm focusing that on the center of my lid and the inner corner of my eye. This will also help my eyes to appear more opened. To fill in my brows, I'm using a darker product than usual because I am wearing a brunette wig. I'm using this Cryoline Cake Eyeliner to fill in my brows and also help them appear more arched than usual. Next I'm going to give myself a slight cat eye to add to the almond appearance that I am after. Then apply a good coat of mascara. Next I'm going to contour my cheekbones with this fluffy eye brush. I like to use this brush because it fits perfectly in the crevices of my face. I'm also going to contour my chin, temples and jawbone. I like to blend everything in with a fluffy face brush to ensure that everything is blended. Next I'm applying this natural coloured blush for a little bit of colour to my cheekbones. If you like, you can also line your lips. I went for a hot pink NYX lipstick. Now I apply some lashes. For an added effect, I'm applying some of this Ben Nye Fake Blood around the wound and lightly smeared the blood around the right side of my face and neck. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this Halloween tutorial as much as I did making it. Now you should look like something out of a gruesome horror movie. If you would like to see more videos like this one, please favourite this video and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for free updates and notifications when I upload new videos. The week featured in this video was from the wigoutlet.com.au. Check them out for great quality wigs at affordable prices. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Happy Halloween!